This is a preview from one of our multi-texture haircutting master classes. In this session, we are going to carve, slice, and chisel the perimeter of this beautiful platinum blonde pixie hairstyle. When was the last time you saw a sister rocking platinum blonde hair color this beautiful? The bleach touch-up was precise and the platinum blonde toner application was flawless, but it's the razor haircut that makes this particular pixie hairstyle so beautiful. After we applied the Platinum Blonde Toner, we dropped a little keratin on top and we dried her under an ionic hood dryer. In this scene, her hair is completely dried. We are using the Nourishing Lipid Serum. We are replenishing the lipids that were lost during the lifting and toning process. You can buy this 100% organic lipid serum from our website at beautywellnesshaircare.com. Just click the shop button and it'll take you right there. Now this is a completely lightweight, instantly absorbed natural oil. What we're looking at here is an imprint from the nylon wrap. We're not too concerned about it in this situation because we're going to use the razor to carve and sculpt the upper and lower back and nape areas. The way you comb out a sculpted set is just as important as the way you wrapped, molded, or set the hair to dry under the ionic hood dryer. What's happening is we're breaking and we resetting the hydrogen bonds and the ionic bonds, the salt linkages into the new form, into the new shape. The style, the hair will take the shape that it was dried in, whether it was sculpted and wrapped or rolled on rollers. The comb out from a molded set or wrap style is just as important as putting the sculpted shape in. You want to break up the hairs at the root. What you're doing is you're aerating the hair. You're allowing air and oxygen to get in between the hairs to help add volume. No foam, no mousse, no gel, no silicones. Her hair is fine and we're using the Nourishing Lipid Serum to act as a cutting agent to help add slip to the scissors as well as, and most importantly, for the razor. So you see how we're using the scissors to go in and chisel around her ears to create a defined edge. A pixie is defined by its length. It's super short and faded uh, in the nape and sides with no more than three inches in the crown. You see here after the scissors, it's left a hard edge just above the ear. We can't have that, okay? That's where the razor comes in. We will use the razor holding it at a 90 degree elevation and we will blend and carve and slice those ends so that the textured hair will curve, coil, curl, and hug the scalp. The shorter the hair is, when you slice the ends with the razor, it causes the textured hair to do its thing. It encourages the coil all the way up the hair shaft. And when you cut the hair off super short, less than an eighth of an inch, that coil turns into a smooth blended scalp hugging finished nape style. Now there's some big Kopu shampoo companies that have convinced a lot of folks to cut textured hair when it's dry with a scissor. I mean it is the most convoluted thing I could ever think I could ever think of because with textured hair you want to slice the ends because when you slice the ends at an angle it encourages the entire hair shaft to coil. Okay, it encourages curls, curls, kinks, whatever, whatever you want to call it. The way you cut for control textured hair 
is with a razor. When you cut textured hair straight across with scissors, you cause the hair to poof out. You cause the hair to poof up like the ends of a broom. Yeah, think of the ends of a natural broom, you know, made out of straw, whatever it's made out of. And and look at the ends after you've used it, right? The ends are all frayed. It's all poofy. It's expanded at the ends. Cutting with scissors creates volume. Cutting with razors creates curve and coils. What you want to cut textured hair with is a razor, especially when you're going super short, like with this pixie. You can see how we're using the razor to carve the style into her hair. Now we're using these scissors so that we can get a sharp edge. We want some fullness in the fringe, so we use the scissors. We want the sideburns and around the ear and nape area to be super tight. We want that to lay flat. Now you can use this razor perimeter tighten up, right? You can use this procedure with the razor on all kinds of textured hair. The hair can be relaxed, right? The hair could be naturally uh, wavy. Uh, the razor will encourage the tight hair around the perimeter to hug and curve and lay smooth. Where if you use the clipper or scissors on textured hair, it's going to cause it to poof. Now, right here in this uh, image, we're going to cut across the ends of the front fringe. You see how that was less than a sixteenth of an inch. But remember I said with the scissors, it causes the hair to poof. And in the fringe and crown, because her hair is fine, we want to do everything we can to add volume. And you see how I'm using this uh, favorite comb that I'm sure everyone has in their uh, hair kit, this feathered comb. I'm using this comb to style and cut the hair with a razor because I want to cut the curve into the hair and I want the hair to lay in its most natural state. She's going to use this type of feathered comb to style her hair at home. So I want to cut the style into the way she combs her hair and the way the hair falls. Now her hair grows forward from the back crown. You can, I'll wait till she turns around. Okay, so you see how we're using the comb? We've already uh, aerated and we've added oxygen between the hair to give her volume in the crown. Then we use the scissors, right, to blunt the ends to give us some more volume. And now we're going in and applying some antibacterial antifungal serum to her nape. Now we used a straight edge razor to shape up her nape line and you can buy that video on our website. I love the razor because it gives you the sharpest cut. You can put in a new blade every time you cut a new client. Some clients with super thick hair, you can use one or two blades in one session. But look at her hair. I'm going to call this the California Platinum Blonde. It is so effortless. She... All she has to do is tie her hair down at night. She doesn't have to wrap it. It's already dried in place. And look at how that razor has laid down the perimeter. You would never get that with a clipper cut. You will never get that with a pair of scissors. That's why they use all that foam and gel when they're drying the hair. What they're doing is they're trying to smooth the cuticle layer so that the hair is silky and it will reflect light. But if they're using a no lie relaxer, it ain't never going to happen. The hair is just going to be full of uh, gels and mousses and foams and they're going to have to use high heat. And high heat would destroy a platinum blonde hair color like this. Oh, there's so much that goes with rocking platinum blonde hair color. You have to lower the heat, number one, and if you can get away with no heat, then your hair will grow like crazy. Like her hair now is maybe, oh my gosh, it has grown out so much. She wants me to cut it off. It's the summer here in Northern California. It's 
beach weather uh, restrictions have been lifted. We all want to go to the beach and the gym. We got the kids to deal with. They're out of school. And this is a beautiful, effortless hairstyle that just screams sophistication, class, well-kept, pampered. Anyone could buy a lace front wig online and glue it down in their bathroom mirror. But it takes a master stylist, a master colorist to create a master cutter. Okay, that's what a master stylist is. You have mastered it all. Cutting, color, texture control on all nationalities, on all. All hair textures. That's what makes you a, a master stylist. We can help you take your level one client to a level 11 platinum blonde and keep the hair healthy and on their head. Come visit us at beautywellnesshaircare.com.